Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to put out this video series uh, for first timers that are just getting started with a uh, Motes Quarter Horse and Binary Editor software uh, to include basic things like what requirements you have to have on your computer, what kind of computer do you need, how do you install the software, how do you get it licensed, uh, things like that. So uh, this first video is going to talk about the, the sort of prerequisite requirements before you install the software. The video following is about installing the software and getting it licensed. So the page that I'm on right now is eecanalyzer.net slash downloads. So this is uh, the main place where you would go to download uh, both the software for Binary Editor and EEC Analyzer if you chose uh, to add that to your software package. Uh, and there's also links here to some of the non, um, uh, different components I should say that are manufactured elsewhere. So there's some components from Microsoft and Adobe and things like that that you might need. Uh, so first thing we want to talk about is, you know, what, what kind of computer do you need to do this? Well, obviously you'll want a laptop uh, or, or some kind of device that you can take with you in the computer. So like just a traditional desktop isn't going to work. This software only runs on Windows. So you'll need uh, the Windows operating system on your machine. Now, you can use a Mac, and I've done that too, uh, if you have a way to dual boot that Mac into a Windows operating system or use something like VMware Fusion, um, that works just fine too. But regardless, you have to get to a point where you are using a Windows machine. What version of Windows? You know, I, I think pretty much any modern version of Windows that Microsoft still supports, you should be okay with. And that's going to go back, you know, quite a ways. Now, uh, as far as you know how fast of a computer do you need to do this well the truth is when you're when you're just going back and you know looking at the logs and thinking about things not a lot of compute going on uh, when you're adjusting the tune not a lot of compute going on really the only thing that that is particularly taxing of the computer is the data logging process itself uh, and in a future video we'll talk about this but since you control how much data it's pulling uh, from from the com car's computer uh, and how fast it's doing that, you know, you can turn turn off a lot of your, your tags so you're not logging as many things at once, and sometimes you can get around that if your computer's a little bit slower. But uh, but in general, you know, no no real set requirements. Um, I've I've worked with a lot of people with a lot of different computers and um, haven't haven't run into any major issues related to that. Some are a little slower than others, but should be okay. Windows is the key. Now, within Windows, there's a, a major Microsoft component you have to have, and that's the Microsoft.NET framework. Uh, and this software requires version 4.5 uh, or later as of the time of this writing. So this link right here will take you to Microsoft's website. And I'm just going to jump over here for a minute so you can see this. But basically, it, it loaded that in a new window and then immediately started downloading this package. So run this uh, executable and go through all the Microsoft stuff it wants you to do. Uh, and that'll get Microsoft, uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 installed. You might get a message that says, hey, you've already got something newer on here. If that's the case, don't worry about it. You're good. Uh, and if it does act like it wants to proceed with the install, expect to have to reboot the computer at least once. And you really want to shut down every other program that's running on the computer while you're doing this. So just, just a thought there. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty big component that a lot of people will, will have to do. The other one is this 2007 Office system driver. So again, this is another Microsoft component. Uh, it's their Access database engine. Download this, run this file. Um, it's a pretty lightweight install, but that's, that's another really required component because if you don't do that, when you go try to load up the free strategies uh, for your computer and start trying to do stuff with Binary Editor, you're going to get a bunch of errors that says it doesn't understand how to open that strategy file and how to do this stuff. So you need to make sure that you, uh, you've got this Office system driver installed. Now, once you have those, those pieces in place, then you're probably ready to go ahead and do uh, the Binary Editor install. So ultimately, you'll just uh, grab this guy right here. Same thing as always, download it, run the application, next, next, next. I'd highly recommend when it asks you where you want to install this to, that you just let it go to the default location rather than trying to put it in a custom location. I've seen a couple instances where uh, users have had some, some errors while using the application, and the errors specifically occurred because they installed it in a very odd place, and then it ultimately was kind of permissions related, but... Um, but unless you have a real good reason to do it somewhere else, just, just put it in the default location, um, be okay there. So that's the basics. Now, 
Another question that comes up, because you might have seen this um, posted around online, and I think it might even be mentioned somewhere in the binary editor help file. They talk about, you know, if, you're, if your license for binary editor is using a USB key uh, as your choice, which is, you know, actually a USB thing, you'd have to plug it into your computer to have a license. Make sure that you do not have that USB key plugged into the computer while you're doing the software installation. Get through all the software installation first. Get open up the software, make sure it loads up on the screen, then then you can plug in that uh, USB key. Now, if you have a software key, uh, I'm going to have to show you uh, here in a little bit the process of going in and retrieving a little bit of information that you'd have to send to me or, or the company that uh, you purchased the software from. Uh, they have to issue a license key, but the license key in that case is going to be specific to your laptop and only that laptop. So in order to make a license that's linked to that, you first have to give uh, the software company a little bit of information about your machine. And there's a, a screen you go to within Binary Editor to do that. So you can install the software with no license at all. It's a free download. Nothing stops you from getting to it. You just can't use it properly until it's licensed. Um, so this is really the starting point. The .NET Framework 4.5 the Office System driver. Throw Adobe Acrobat Reader on here if you don't have it. The reason I say that is you'll need it in order to view the uh, help manual for Binary Editor. Uh, and then the Binary Editor download itself. Okay, so that's, that's step one, guys. Get your software installed. Now, because generally when people are going with this, this platform, at least the people that I work with commonly, you're also combining the Motes Quarter Horse chip. The Motes Quarter Horse chip itself also has something that you need to install uh, there's a driver for that. And until you do that, you can plug the quarter horse chip in and the software is never going to recognize that that's there. So you have to install one other thing. Uh, and because that's a Moats product, I'm actually going to have to leave this website and go somewhere else. <clears throat> so this brings me to this page. So this web address, this ftdichip.com slash drivers slash bcp.htm. Um, this is a web page that you can go to to download the drivers. And these apply to all kinds of other chips and they're used for all, all kinds of other stuff. So there's a lot of options on this screen and I know it can be confusing. So I'll make this really easy for you. Because the software that we use is gonna be Windows only, you can ignore everything else down here. Even if you're running Windows from a Mac, you still don't touch this stuff. Stay with the Windows option up top and don't use either of these links. Go all the way over to the right and where it says available as a setup executable, that's what you want right there. Click on that setup executable, download, uh, download that file, go from there. Now, this file is a zip file. So uh, once you download this, you're actually going to have to open the zip and extract the files out of that zip before you can, you can make use of those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save this uh, right here. I'll just put it in this projects folder, save that zip file, let it go through the download process. Uh, and then I'm immediately going to open this file and unzip it. So I'll go out to where I just saved it. And when you right click, uh, just even using the, the basic functionality that Windows gives you, you should be able to open up this zip archive. Uh, and then you can, you know, unzip the contents that way. I use a program called 7-Zip. Uh, so I'll usually do something like extract files or extract here and then it'll load a whole bunch of things in this location, and then we can work with those files from there. Uh, but ultimately, once this file's unzipped, you're going to have a, a setup executable file that you can run, and that file is ultimately what installs the, the quarter horse uh, FTDI drivers that you need. So just make sure that you, uh, you take the time to go through that process, and then once you do that, you shouldn't have any connectivity issues uh, getting the quarter horse uh, to talk to your, your software. So. Alright guys, that's, that's the first video. Next up is licensing. Good luck. Godspeed.